Greetings friends, it is week 8, it is the Shadowhawker self-service vending machine of education and it is the task week where we're going to get you to do a bunch of stuff and it's going to be fun, I'm looking forward to it. So, what's on offer and what we are wanting to see happen? The internet is based on four different ways of distributing information. There is the audio, there is the video and because I'm old school, image and text, that's where I got my grounding because bandwidth wasn't as widespread, text loaded faster than pictures, pictures loaded faster than videos, and videos quite often didn't load at all, and as for streaming audio, that was right out. Drift shouldn't be an issue this week, uh, we should be mostly on track, but we are going to get you to go off and do stuff, and it's very much a task oriented. Uh, we are down to the second of the applications. This is probably the area where there's most connection to people's projects because usually somebody can make use of text and somebody can make use of image irrespective of whether that's the proposition. So we're going to give it a shot. Slidos are up, the Word docs are available. Some of the stuff in the Word docs this time are prompts and cues that you may go off and use and interact with in other aspects. The check-in of how you're progressing towards the goals. How are you moving towards the goals? Are you on track, off track, behind schedule? So there's some elements of checking here. Obviously, one of the big questions is if you're well behind, reach out, talk to me, make contact, let me know how it's, what's happening so we can talk about the best way for you to utilize that, the ETPR. Now, your first exercise up today, it's going to be 10 minutes on the clock and we're going to do a text prompt. On the Word document you will see that we have September 26th as... That is not true of today. It is not. I have set this as an exercise to be undertaken in the live events. When you are watching this, whatever day it is that you're watching this, whatever the date is, use that date in Wiki. Look at the sites that are here. Look at what today is and write yourself a little something that goes and draws on a combination of a prompt from today is whether it's a name day a public holiday a historical event and your course and your project content. the reason i want you to do this is that i want you to then reflect on how this experience was about using a cue or a prompt to generate it's a 10 minute job so start the timers Pause the video and I will see you back in 10 minutes. Good to have you back, mates. Glad you could be part of the show. So, one of the things about that prompt is that it can be really ridiculously difficult. Or it can be amazingly easy. You can have a moment of cracking open the date and going, Oh my god, that's directly relevant to my project. It's on. Or you can be on your fifth site going, Why? But that's the point. Now, one of the things we do see a lot of is a social media calendar. Uh, a friend of mine is a social media manager, creates these calendars periodically, usually uh, when she's not uh, contractually obligated to other industries, uh, an annual event where you find the public holidays and you find the list of dates so you can queue up content creation. Now, for this session, I got you to look at just today and react to today. But what you would do with a, a text generation experience like this is you get yourself a content calendar and you go through and you find the things that were relevant. So if you were doing a blog of reviews of cheeses, cheese boxes and different types of cheese products, there are a couple of, there's the National Cheese Owners Association, there's the Cheese Makers Days. You would find things that were natural prompts and cues to connect to your product and you'd use it that way. But here interested in a discussion about what it was like to run with those prompts. Now, your second exercise. All right. Nine minutes. Three, three minute task. This is the Canva Blitz exercise. I want you to create an Instagram ready image for your project. Something that you could use to promote your project. Because if you are up for it, you can then send that through to me with the caption and I will put it up on my Instagram and promote your project. Second thing I want you to do is you just created yourself some text prompts. Make it a text to visual. Make, it, make a visual content piece to go with the text prompt that you just wrote. If you didn't write one, guess what you're doing this time. And the third, go make a team logo. Three minutes, make a team logo. We're late in the season, there's plenty of opportunities. Uh, go, you've got the get hype, and you've got 
the course identity logos. So Shadow Hawker, Sh actually Shadow Hawkers do some Shadow Hawker stuff. But if you want to, you can also steal some uh, turf from the Daywalkers and uh, the Night Stalkers. But basically, create a team logo and do all this in three minutes per exercise. Your time. It's your time. Start the timer. Hit the pause. See you in three pieces of content in nine minutes time. The reason I ask you to do the three by three is I want you to take the doubt away. I want you to dive in and go, okay, it's not perfect. Yes. I want you to create stuff together. and make. Now check in on the forums. You might find a place to go put your stuff. If you do want to have an Insta post shout out, send it on over to me. And definitely dive into the DLC challenge arena and see about getting some points. So the third, the third task, this is the reflect, but this is also training for the ETPR. What I want you to do is I got you to act. I got you to do. Now what I want you to do is I want a bit of a think here is you've just used the Canva platform to create how would you describe what you did through the lens of a marketing theory? What is a marketing framework or a marketing idea that you could cite as your explanation for the conduct just engaged? Now, the reason I'm asking you to do this is that this is a practice round. This is a training round for the ETPR. In the taper, you're going to be to explain in marketer's language what your activity was with so get some practice here. You'll note we're bringing you back to Google Scholar for a bit more practice of using the old Scholar. You're looking for perhaps an article that explains Canva, perhaps an article that explains the theory you think applies to how you use It's time to get conceptual to explain. So with that in mind, hit the timer, start the timer, hit the pause, and uh, see you soon. All right, here we go. This is a difficult task which is why you were given it. Up on the forum, you'll find a bit of a discussion around the ways in which we can describe Canva. So go have a look, get involved, have a chat, and talk about what you think is the best way to describe it. So last up is, uh, don't forget to post to the forum. From You're here to have a little fun. We are using image and text. Put a text post up, put an image post up use the forum's capacity to share and your content. Canva is a really good tool and it's really going to help you. To... So as always, if you need me, you know where to find me. It's a shorter one because it's an applied one today. Get out, get your hands on the tech and make use of it. Enjoy it. Get on with it. See you at the next one.